What's going on YouTube? Today we are opening up the new Pokemon Battle Styles. So let's get to it. What's going on guys? Super excited to open this one up for the first time. It's going to be Battle Styles. Um, this is a booster box for those who do not know. Booster box is going to come with 36 packs. Um, check it out really quick. So yeah, as we go, we're going to check out the uh, artwork right here, Tyranitar. That's actually my chase card. Um, Let's just get straight into it. 36 packs, gonna be a long one. So we got Fire Energy, Weeping Bell, Luxio, Tower of Waters, Frillish, Roly Coley, Spoink, Cacnea, Bronzer, Onyx at the Reverse Hollow Spot, yep. And then a Galarian Mr. Ron. So actually, uh, my local uh, LGS was able to sell these. They had a ton. I think he said he had like 200 booster boxes and he was selling them at retail. So kind of um, hold out. I don't think there's a giant market just because in all honesty, there's not a Charizard that a lot of people want to chase. Um, and this a Marowak. To be honest, like I was saying, um, there, there really, not that there isn't a chase card, but there isn't that super popular chase card. I, um, I believe in this set, it's the Urshifu, um, either the single strike or the rap, rapid strike, depending on uh, which one you like. Um, the secret rare, and then for me, my chase card is gonna be the um, Tyranitar alternate art. But for now, we have a Bissettini VMAX super cool so we'll start out with that so unfortunately it's not um, like the other sets you know the difference for those who don't know the difference between a special set and a regular set is that you're not gonna get a white code um, if you're coming in just from uh, shining fates you're gonna there's gonna be a lot of uh, hardships it's gonna be super hard to pull the cards you want Whereas in Shiny Fates, every other card is a uh, shiny. In all honesty, between um, Darkness of Blaze and Vivid Voltage, you know, Darkness of Blaze, obviously, um, the chase card was a Charizard. I didn't grab that. And then in Vivid Voltage, the chase card was either, you know, um, the pick any of the Pikachu's, in my opinion. And I was through three bo booster boxes I didn't pull that so hopefully my luck with a regular set as opposed to a special set is a lot better than this also for me the other thing that's pretty not pretty disappointing that's kind of disappointing is that they decided I hopefully only for this set and not for the foreseeable future is that uh, amazing rares are gone so when I, un unfortunately when you pull that green code there's not like no possibility of um, you know pulling you know in that uh, hollow rare spot and uh, like kind of kind of don't get it misconstrued when I say something like say something nice like as in, like none of the cards in the hollow rare spot are nice um, kind of what I mean is like the you know the shiny chase card or whatever but um, definitely they have a decent amount of like gen one cards um in here too and then a rapid strike urshifu so in the comments below let me know um which you prefer rapid strike or uh single strike to be honest i haven't so usually when i play i'll play on the tcgo so I gotta scan in a couple of these code cards and then just see the uh, the whole aspect of how that's gonna uh, implement into the game because 
like for to the best of my knowledge this is a new concept go back the sharp sandlit corefish galarian slowpoke timber esper cherubi and meow stick so that's a super cool card it's a hollow it's just funny it's funny because you could kind of like i seen people on online just in general complaining that they got like 20 20 green goes and that's kind of i would think that's kind of the ratio because you got to think about it, a booster box has 36 packs and you know slightly over is going to be more common than the actual um than the actual rare cards so you i mean if it was 20 20 white codes then you're just going to have a lot of rare cards and that kind of makes it um, a little bit lackluster to just only pull the rare cards it, it kind of devalues the rare cards they're not rare anymore so you kind of kind of just got to fight through the hardship <laughs> you might get a lot of green codes a lot of cards that might not be desirable to you but to be honest there's um there's always going to be someone i think that's true for basically anyone there's going to be a card or two that you want specifically like that Tyran tyranitar looks alternate art looks crazy to me and although it's a rare um some people might not like it at all and want an urshifu so so far this box hasn't um been kind to us but in all honesty i'm kind of going through these quick because i'm actually uh shooting three videos back to back to back so i'm gonna it's gonna be tirelessly uh i'll be tirelessly going through about you know 150 packs today i'm pretty sure this this set will be pretty accessible for like the normal consumer maybe not i mean obviously not in the in the form of a booster box which i believe is the best value but you should be able to go in there and find some product to be honest like i said before there's no charizard there's no um shiny or anything like that so for those i know i'm going through it pretty quick if you look right there rapid strike and then it will say single strike perfect <laughs> um that's a cool little concept i like i wonder you know if this if this is like a successful campaign for this new uh concept um that would be cool little label to see in the future see i like this electric wire electrifier water energy bruxel -ish, or bruxish tool jammer lick a tongue Houndour. I want the Houndoon in gold. That's another one of my personal uh, chase cards. Blipbug and a Colossal Hollow. Nice. Love the artwork on that one. Fighting Energy. Tower Darkness. Heatmore. Cheryl. Scatterbug. Houndour. Frillish. La Cobra, Glamiao, Pig Knight, and an Ore Beetle. Rapid Strike Style Mustard, Dual Blade, Mankey Gen 1, Horsey Gen 1, Chimechu, Phalanx, Marowak. Gen 1. So actually the, the product from this set that I'm actually looking forward to is the um, Blastoise and Venusaur. It comes out, I think, I believe it comes out because this set uh, officially drops on the 19th. So I believe those all drop on the 19th. 
to be honest, I'm not sure if the v, uh, v, Venusaur and uh, Blastoise boxes are V or V Maxes. They might be V Maxes, and in Japan, they came out with a third card, which is the same one as the Darkness of Blaze, with the three starters from Kanto. I might have to go and find that in the in the wild, but I heard it's pretty expensive. And here you go, an Empoleon V. He also has a nice um, alternate art secret rare that I hope I can pull. But like I always say, anything with texture in my eyes is a pull. Unfortunately, if you look at the top right there, there's a lot of whitening on the top, which is kind of sucks. Um, I'm not really sure to be honest because I mean we're still going through it but um, the the actual uh, quality uh, compared to shiny fates shiny fates had a lot of problem with their quality quality control as well as vivid voltage so hopefully it's a teeny V so we're, I have a feeling we're gonna pull a lot of guys and a lot of that guy in the set um, but yeah vivid voltage probably had some of the worst quality control so leaf energy see i like this card like this is going to be the most like pharaoh gen one like a lot of people just skip through it and it's kind of like i'm after this you know after i'm done shooting and you know i'll go through like a more in-depth look at the artwork kind of um gotta go make these videos a little bit shorter so i gotta speed it up fire energy mustard luxio bronzer swank gligar shinx houndor squirrels of swirls and a cronkleder more impeco Sparkle, Spoink, Cacnea, Corefish, Timber, Horsey, and a Salazzle. So we got the Water Energy, Grumpig, Escape Rope, Pharaoh, Onyx, Chimechu, Roly Coly, Blipbug, Frillish, Esper and a bound tune. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure there's like an official odds, not for this set, but in general for booster boxes. As far as like each booster box probably comes with like a secret rare. This is a cool set too, or a cool. Uh, I really like the artwork on this one for the Electra Buzz. But as far as booster boxes, as like I think it's guaranteed or on ratio it's guaranteed that you would get like a a secret rare and the stat one v um like guaranteed one v max or something like that i'm gonna have to uh, look that up Um, but yeah, I, I thought we'd get at least one more VMAX. We've got about eight or nine packs left just to check out the artwork. I mean, it's not really like I need the most rarest card right now. Um, but you know, you know, a lot of the uh, other cards thing for me with like the, the Urshifu and you know, the Gigantamax, uh, you know rapid strike and single strike it kind of doesn't remind me of pokemon to be honest but the artwork the artwork looks crazy like it's kind of that giving that take like the artwork looks crazy but it doesn't remind me of like the little chibi chubby type pokemon so it's you know i could see some people getting turned off with that too. but then again i i could see um uh, People getting a little confused because they they might not they're they're used to a specific kind of Pokemon and then with the V V Max 
and also their gigant Gigantamax. It's it's a different concept. Like those aren't just roaming the wild, to to say the least. And then a cricket tune V. Decent amount of V cards. Just haven't hit that one. That one, you know. I guess one of the top five chase cards. There's also a, a full art trainer, a fo fo Phoebe, Phoebe, that a lot of people uh, are going after. Um, and a Luxray is pretty cool. Like I said before, I, I just think the uh, Rapid Strike single Rapid Strike single strike um, adds just like a little extra level ball. Bruxish, Cacnea, Corfish, Timber, Gilgar, and a Stan Joiner. So hopefully in these next couple packs that are remaining from the booster box of 36 packs, we can get at least like one V Max just to check out, you know, check out the new artwork for this set. And here we go. So this is the Urshifu V Max Rapid for Rapid Strike Gigantamax. So we'll do this again. <laughs> so this is a Gigantamax Rapid Strike Urshifu V Max. <laughs> Pretty long to say. Um, there is actually um, a secret rare of this same card. Um, but it looks completely different. It looks super crazy. And, you know, like I was saying, just to, to show off the artwork on these ones look crazy. Dotler, Karkul, Experience Share. There's an Experience Share Rare that's in gold. Not really fond of it. I'd rather take uh, an oct Octillery. Than an Embor. Super solid. Like, even if this Embor was an amazing rare, that would be kind of cool. Gliscor. Silicobra. Mean Foo. Sparrow. Claydol. And an Aegis Slash. Ah. Traumatized from Vivid Voltage. Got too many of these guys. Leaf. Pharaoh. Carnivine. Phoebe. Phoebe. Gilgar. Electra Buzz. Ball Toy. Hunnage. Urn of Vitality. And a Prime Ape. Rapid Strike Energy, Scroll of Swirls, Lickitung, Yamper, Scatterbug, Galarian Mr. Mr. Ron, Mr. Mime actually, Spoink, Sphinx, and a Licky Licky, Evolution of Lickitung. And down to the last pack. We have the Water Energy, Escape Rope, Carnivine, Pharaoh, Galarian Slowpoke, Timber, Esper, Electrobuzz, and a Lunatus. So we did get the uh, Rabbit Shike Urshifu, um, the Empoleon V, um, still on the hunt. It's gonna be a, a while for the hunt. Uh, still looking for that um, for the alternate arts in my eyes those are my personal chase cards I don't know specifically what everybody else is looking for I'm looking for first and foremost I'm looking for that Tyranitar uh, um, it's like they got done eating um, looks you know looks pretty funny um, gonna keep on hunting new video coming pretty soon to be honest uh, i'm gonna open up more packs in the next couple minutes but yeah until next time if you like this kind of content 
please like subscribe and until next time peace